You guys here in Chicago, Illinois, we have the world headquarters, the global headquarters for McDonald's, and we're gonna go there today. They have a global menu in the restaurant where they try a bunch of different stuff for McDonald's all around the world. And today, we've got our eyes set on the big Rosti from Germany. Gonna snag it, show you all about it. Pumped you are here. Yeah, guys, and we also wanted to do a merch shout out for Jody Cook. She got the two pack uh, Sixer Sauce subscription. So that's the hotter Sixer Sauce and the regular Sixer Sauce. If you're interested, Go check out number six with G's.com and uh, snag yourself some, uh, some hot sauce. McDonald's, here we come. We got them, two of them, they're $5.99 each. The big Rosti, hope I'm pronouncing that right, from Germany, jump cut. <laughs> All right, Corey Wagner, second angle. All right, let's see what we got here. There we go, so it looks like an onion bun. And then there's the bacon. Looks like that's our cheese. This is our Rosti, which apparently is just like a hash brown. Yeah. <laughs> so we got that, little potato patty, and then cheese. And then hamburger meat, and then that's that. Simple, simple and elegant. Simple and elegant. Real quick on the big camera, because we got it. There's mine, looking similar, but here's a different angle of it. All right, the big Rosti for the first time. Six bucks each. Cheers. Cheers. Instantly, it's so dry. Very dry, needs more sauce. Mm -hmm. More of that cheese sauce or whatever. Man, yeah, it's really dry. It tries potato on its own. It's different, there's something a little weird about it. It's definitely got like, Seasonings and stuff that just are very un-American. It tastes old to me. Look, I don't know how to describe the flavor. I just know it tastes dated. Yeah, I, I mean, I kind of I get that. Like, like did they, they just leave this potato out too long? I mean, you nailed it right away. It's just so dry. See, here, look at there's all this. Well, okay, there's cheese sauce. I just am not getting a ton of flavor from that. Mm -mm. Not that impressed with this. Uh -uh. At the photo and stuff, I thought I was really gonna like this. I mean, the concept sounds great. Yeah, it kind of is like LeBron. Like whenever he tries to make a super team and at first none of the teammates gel together like when you got AD and LeBron You had Russell Westbrook and you're like, oh, well, I like all those ingredients All those ingredients should be awesome together. Yeah, and then they get together and they're not awesome together And you're like, well, what the heck? That's yeah, like a potato pancake bacon and beef like it should all work so it should well together. all work together man That's so true. You want to lube it up? I honestly don't think I want any more bites like it's just, there's some flavor in there that I'm not like obsessed with. Like I'm not even not obsessed with, like really kind of don't care for. This uh, is helping mask that. Yeah, I bet it is. And it's really making it wetter. I tell you, I found out, I found out why Chicagoans hate uh, ketchup. No, tell me. Masking. Apparently, oh. like people used to put ketchup on things to like hide poor quality meat. Oh, that makes sense. And so Chicago were like, our hot dogs are so good, they don't need ketchup. So it was like, oh, they're such good quality meat, you don't need to hide the gross Man. meat with the ketchup. That's all it is, and then it just got twisted. That's such a good fact. Is that fact checked? That's not an AJ fact? That's not an AJ fact, I did some Googling. I really love the story behind that then. Very succinct, informational, <laughs> and I'm happy I learned it. Hey, yeah, we're learning on here, that guys. Was actually, that's actually really good to know. I've lived here 10 years and always been like, oh, it's just because Chicagoans are annoying. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> All right, we got the whiteboards out. We're going to rate this thing. But first, let's break it down. Then we'll roll into the decimals <laughs> out of five. Uh, Corey, take it away first. Uh, I think it was really fun and interesting. It's always cool to try things that are at different countries, McDonald's. But I do think it was way too dry. And although those were great ingredients, like I think they're fun to add onto a burger. Yeah. I just, like I said, I don't think that they like played together well and I think it ended up being something that was like not as tasty as I expected. How do you feel about the six dollar price tag? Oh, great. Me too. I think that is where it kind of redeems itself a little bit. To me, that is something that you don't need to try um, if you're into that. I think it was too dry and the flavors weren't there enough to really warrant like going here if you're visiting Chicago or you live here and you like trying the new things, like the global menu things, I mean. I don't know. So Alex Trebek, hit that track. We'll see how it scores out of five. All right, let's see. I was, I was just so vulnerable there. I had my board just totally face towards you.
All right, cut it off, cut it off. All right, out of five, let's flip it on three. One, two, three. Ah! Two, Both below average. Two, three, and a two, very yep. similar. Yeah, you don't need to get that. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't go out of my way for that bad boy. Mm -mm. But do make sure to like the video. Just because the food wasn't good doesn't mean we weren't good. Give that thing a like. Subscribe if you haven't. Share it if you can. And then a quick question for you guys so we can hang out down in the chat. What's a food combo that seems like it should go together, but whenever you try it together, everything just falls apart and it, the flavor is just trash? <laughs> Your day ruined. Just, <laughs> just curious what you guys can come up with, get creative with it, and uh, yeah, I'm excited to see what you guys say. Yeah, another global McDonald's menu item in the books. Excited we got to try it. We'll keep doing these as they pop up, I'm sure. And uh, we'll see you guys very soon for another video. Subscribe to the channel. We love that you guys come back. Have a good one. Bye. Thank you.